Hey guys, this is Corsair. So today I just got the brand new Russian submachine gun, the PPS-43. Um, so I'll basically be doing a stock review on the gun, um, how it is when you first get it, and then go over the upgrades for it, and then show some gameplay. So yeah, the upgrades for the gun. Now if you want to get it, it costs about 225,000 credits. So here's the ammo. Um, you start off with the 7.62 TT. Uh, this, this is what it looks like. It does over 25 damage. Um, has pretty good accuracy. Then you have the Leonov Devil, which takes the RP, I mean, not RPM uh, damage up to over 33 damage a shot. Which really, I think this is the only SMG, and I might be wrong, um, the only SMG that has the ability to to do um, three shot kills, and that's pretty good for a submachine gun. And there's the Leonov Misha, and I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's better damage, not good accuracy, range, or stability. Then there is the P41, which I like using because it has much more accuracy, does a little bit damage, I mean a little bit less damage, but it is, um, it's not really that much of a loss because you're still over 25 damage. Then for the sights, you have the field adjusted sights, and just like all of the SMGs in the game, they don't really help that much for any accuracy, so I really wouldn't say it's it's not really worth it. Then there is uh, the field trigger job, and that will take your RPM up to 654, so that takes it up 101 uh, rounds per minute. And then there's the marksman trigger, which will take it up to 720 rounds per minute. Then you have the lightened spring and the lightened bolt and the heavy spring. So now the lightened spring, it is pretty good. I wouldn't really suggest it because you lose stability. Now it's not that much loss of stability, but you get the lightened bolt much quicker than you'll get the lightened spring. Um, the lightened bolt, it, it uh, gives you less range, but then gives you more RPM. Does the same as the lightened spring. Um, they both take you up to 654 RPM, so like before with the uh, with the field trigger, it will take up your RPM by 101. So then there's the heavy spring, which will take down your RPM to 480 for a gain of stability, which I don't think is really worth it at all. <laughs> then there's the stainless steel barrel, and that'll take up your range a bit, but I really wouldn't say it's worth the credits. Then your magazine size is 35 and your reload time is 3 seconds. And I have the gold fast reload badge, which makes my reload time 1.8 seconds. The camouflages, uh, here's just what the factory standard looks like. And there's the anodized black, which I think looks really cool on the gun. There's the army paint, and then camouflage A. So, it's a very good gun. I would really suggested if you want an SMG that has a bit more range and then still good RPM. Uh, for repair cost, it's about the same as the M1 Carbine, or Carbine is how it's actually pronounced. But, uh, yeah, so, get into some gameplay here. So, I would say it is my favorite SMG in the game, especially my favorite of the Russian SMGs in the game. Now, even though the PPSH-41 has the 71 round clip and it's probably better to take with the, with the bolt action. Because of that ammo, uh, this is still much better at being able to switch to high, uh, not high ranges, but uh, about medium to short ranges, similar to the M1 carbine, or carbine. But then in close quarters, of course, the PPSH-41 is a bit of a better gun. But this one is definitely very uh, comparable to it. And it's not that much slower than the PPSH is. Then I like having the RPG 43s for any tanks I might encounter. is a lot of fun to use. It feels very different from most SMGs and of course sounds different from most SMGs. And the 
and it has that ability to switch to to range as well, which very few submachine guns can do in the game. And I would say it has a bit its range is a bit better than the MP40. Then it has the ability to do uh, over 33 damage a shot. So I don't think that the MP40 can do that. I don't actually own the gun. But uh, as I said, it, it's it's not very it's not able to beat uh, most SMGs that are fully upgraded at close quarters, unless you do have the three-shot capability. But even when it can only four shot, uh, it is still a great gun. And then there is also the accuracy of the gun. It's uh, very accurate for an SMG as well. Uh, definitely makes it a lot of fun to use, and, and it does need that for the range that you'll normally be using it at. I'm sure most everyone will be deciding whether to use the PPS H41 or the PPS 43. And my choice would be the PPS 43 because of just how it's a bit more of an all round machine gun. It has much better range than most all of them. And then with the fast reload gadget, is <laughs> definitely very fun to use. Then, as I said, when it gets to ranges, it is, or maybe not as I said, but, but uh, it is not very, um, not very, it's not like the M1 carbine, because so the carbine it can go to ranges a bit better than this gun can. Um, it has up to about 100 meters of range before it starts getting really inaccurate. This gun has about 75 me uh, millimeters, not millimeters, 75 meters of range before it uh, starts to get incredibly inaccurate. So, if there are snipers, of course, then never run out in the middle of the open because you won't be able to fight them off by any chance. Most anyone with semi automatic either. But overall, I would say the gun is very great. If you want an SMG that has better range than most of them, it's still good RPM, I would definitely suggest this for you. But that's it for the review, guys. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. I will be doing another one for the gun once I have it fully upgraded. But uh, that's it, and thanks for watching.